It sounds as if people already know the results. <laughs> uh, I, David Hagg, being the acting returning officer at the above election, do hereby give notice that the number of votes recorded for each candidate at the said election is as follows. Neil Carmichael, the Conservative Party candidate, 29,307. David Drew, Labour and Cooperative Party, 29,994. Glenville Goggley, in UK Independence Party, 1,039. Sarah Lunnan, Green Party, 1,423. Maximilian Wilkinson, 2,053. There were 97 votes rejected, 25 for voting for more than one candidate, two for marking by which the voter could be identified, and 70 as being marked um, for uncertainty. So there were 97 rejected votes. Um, the number of turnouts uh, was 77,000, as I announced before. And in the light of the above votes, I do hereby declare that David Drew is duly elected to serve in Parliament for the Stratford. Yeah. I'm going to try and croak my way through this. Can I just start by thanking David and all the team of people who've made our evening um, special? Uh, I'm sorry, as always, it is the Stroud thing that we seem to manage to delay things unduly, but it wouldn't be any other way if it wasn't what we did in Stroud. I'd also like to thank the other candidates. We got to know one another rather well. We've had nine hustings. Uh, I think that's partly responsible for the throat. But uh, it is important that we put ourselves before the good uh, residents of Stroud and they have had the opportunity to see what we stand for and what we would argue in terms of. This is the seventh time I've done this. <laughs> I should retire more often. <laughs> it's just important that uh, we understand that this is uh, an important election. I did argue all the way through. I thought this was an unnecessary election and uh, one that I never thought that I would come back and uh, uh, be a victor. But it is important that uh, the people of Stroud, like the people of this country, have had their chance and their say. And it has been rather a surprising result. But as I felt from the outset, this was the wrong time to call a general election and maybe the Prime Minister will be thinking about her position more than anything because I think that uh, we have to move on from the tragedies of Manchester and London and we need to pull together as a community in here in Stroud but also nationally. There are so many people I could thank. I mean, I, in particular, obviously, John, my agent, and Tim who acquired the role of campaign organiser. It was almost successful in organising me, which is a major achievement. But there are lots of people who fought with me. You know, Hillary's not here tonight because she couldn't stand the thought of me losing again. Uh, she's now going to stand the thought of me winning again. But there are lots of you here who've been through this journey. This is 25 years now. Uh, I've not ever stood for anything for the short-term gain. I believe that you have to do politics properly and for the long term. So I'm delighted to go back to Westminster. There are a few things I left unfinished, but more than anything, I'm delighted for those who supported me and those who have stuck with me. So let's celebrate tonight and let's look forward because there is a new dawn, as John would say, and it's a new <laughs> dawn which is somewhat more red in colour than some of us intended. Thank you for listening. Let's... <laughs>